Hey Moose. Hey there. Hey folks, Long Moose here. Up in Alaska again. Yahoo! Uh, this is the new property. So I'm gonna be shooting some video here as we go. Uh, kind of just a quick introduction on what what it's like. It's about 2.75 acres and I'll pan the camera around here in a minute and kind of show you. Right off of Sterling Highway, uh, which is Alaska Route 1, north of Nanilchik. Behind me here, you see a storage container. This was already on the property. So part of what's gonna happen today is clearing off some of this weed and brush. Part of it's gonna be going through some of the stuff in this container and see what's in there. And, uh, you know, just basically trying to have a good old time. Got my Craft Alaska chest holster here for my Colt King Cobra. And don't know if you can see it here, but this is also the Craft Cross Draw holster for my uh, Taurus 692 357. So I'm double gunned up today. Uh, you know, got to bring my Alaska holsters up here, Craft holsters to Alaska. Let them have some fun too. And yeah, I've got a camera up here as I do some filming as I'm walking around as well. So uh, let me get behind the camera here and pan it around a little bit and kind of give you some of the view. Okay, to the right of the shipping container. And you'll hear some of the highway traffic from Sterling Highway. Uh, I did talk to the original surveyor today who did this survey back in 1977 when this was first platted and sometime while we're out here uh, he's going to come out come out here and meet him and we're going to uh, get this thing restaked off and walk it so we know exactly where the boundaries are As you can see there's a lot of overgrowth and brush now the driveway was already put in now we're going back to the left of the shipping container. We don't know exactly how far back to the left of this the property goes. Uh, got some really nice spruce trees right here. But a whole boatload of brush and stuff. Uh, we're trying to find somebody that does uh, brush hog work. Get them in here and pay them to clean a bunch of this out. So we'll just kind of have to see how that goes. So I'll be back with you in a little while. Now right now I'm in the public right of way. Property is right over there. The container. See the fireweeds all dying off for the season. The tops are turning white. When the tops of the fireweed turn white, the old saying is the first snow is not far away. Well, they're predicting the first snow two nights, two days from now, uh, Friday night, and this is Wednesday about lunchtime. Oh, I'm just taking a little stroll down here. This is a path that people use for their four-wheelers, GTVs, and such. I did see some moose track when I went up the other way towards the house that goes up that way. There is a buttload of alder, though. The spruces look nice. And one hardwood tree, I don't know what that is. I'm no dendrologist, but hey, live and learn. 
I do hear some machinery working around here in the distance somewhere. Ooh. Hey, this looks nice. Nice little flat spot. Nice tree. The other thing I'm not seeing so far, knock on good hardwood, is no beetle kill spruce here. Ah, spoke too soon. There is a little bit of it. Looks like a couple of these. I don't know if it's beetle kill or if they're just part of the limbs dying off. But. Come back and walk up in there in a minute or two. But yeah, I'm doubly armed. I have both of my 357 Magnums, 180 grain lead hard cast flat points. If it were to come push the shove to an encounter with black bear, which black bear are primarily the critters around here, it'll stop a black bear. Might stop a grizzly, but it'll definitely stop a black bear. But yeah, it's pretty thick in here. It's gonna be a lot of work. Nothing that can't be handled though. Because at the widest point, wherever the marker is, the property is 200 feet wide from here to here, coming this way. So it's either 200 feet from the road, 200 feet from where I'm standing, or 150 feet from where I'm standing, that is usable. But I like it. And yeah, you got the highway noise, but you know what? We're getting old and hard of hearing, so what the hell? property front straight, straight on Sterling Highway and already has the driveway in the major plus and also one of the requirements to get electric pulled over here the electric power is on the other side of the highway and basically what they will do is pull it over and then it runs underground across this right away into the property to the the compound. We're not sure what we're building yet, but we're just calling it a compound. Walk around this little curve. There's more clearing back there. I don't know if it comes down to the road or not, because there is another house down there. Supposedly, according to the pictures. That's Yeah, that road is supposed to come in. I don't know if you can see it up there. It comes in and curves to the left. But yeah, I've gone beyond the, the boundary of the property somewhat. That's all right. Still pretty. Maybe outside of the boundaries, but it's not outside of my eyes. Well, let's see back to my map so theoretically from the highway going that way we've got 660 feet across the back side 415 feet of highway 222 feet coming in at an angle from the highway across the right of way so, it's out here somewhere. That's why I'm having a surveyor come out. I'll leave the camera on as I walk back.
we were driving down here. As you can see, there's two or three houses to the north of us, supposedly one to the south down here at the corner lot. And if you really needed an emergency help, you run out to the road and flag somebody down. I do have, I bought the uh, contract plan for the Alaska Air Ambulance Service. Hey there, Moose fans, Low Moose. Back out day two on the property. Getting ready to put up the private property no trespassing sign here. Make it official. There you go. Be warned. If I can get over to Sportsman's if they have the sign they used to carry, it's something to the effect of trespassers will be shot, survivors will be shot again. Well, consider yourself warned. Friends, family, always welcome. Trespassers, no way in hell. Hey there, Moose fans. Well, back out working day two on the property. Uh, I'm going to kind of walk you around with the camera here in a minute, show you a little bit about what we got done the last time, which was just clearing some of this uh, alder and stuff off the driveway, and kind of what today's target's going to be, which is uh, clearing out a whole lot more. I picked up a good steel uh, gas weed eater, some metal cutting blades for it, got the chainsaw, so we're going to really try and clear some of this out today. So bear with us and sit back, get yourself a cold drink, and watch us do all the hard work. Now today I've got my craft chest holster for my uh, Colt, or my, excuse me, my, uh, today I got my craft chest holster for my Springfield XD Mod 2 here with the correct holster on it and my fancy little uh, tie down that I built on it. Okay, yeah, that lets me do this, and the holster stays put. So I'm going to be wearing this today while I'm doing a lot of heavy work. 
Now, day one, I had the uh, Colt King Cobra on as well as my little 3 inch 357. But that was okay for the light work we were doing. But, you know, I'm a fat old man when I got to bend over. <laughs> Having a holster here and a holster here is a bit much. So, today, just this baby, and we'll see how this does. Well, the last time we cleared a lot of this out when I would drive in here with the uh, rental, it was scraping on the bottom. So we cleared it out back to the state right away, as much of it as I could, till the uh, chainsaw blade got too dull and my machete blade got all beat up. So today we're going to pick up where we left off right here, take a lot of this down, up to the edge up there where that yellow sign is and then on this side the goal is get in here with that weed eater take all this crap down so we can get a little higher up the hill and see what's up there and do that all the way down here to pass the ship side of the shipping container and then also when you get up here by the shipping container, you'll see that uh, there's quite a bit of growth up here beside it. And I want to clear all of this off from here down to in this general area. Now when you look at the driveway here, it's actually supposed to be a circular driveway around these two trees. And we got a lot of this opened up too. But again, we're gonna finish up up there. So I got a lot of work to do today. I need to get my butt in gear. So I'll get back with y'all after a while. Let you see what we got done. Standing here in the driveway right in front of the uh, minivan. But this, looking out, hopefully you can see this, is Mount Readout. And this is standing at ground level. And then off to the left here by that power pole, uh, then you got uh, Mount Iliamna. And one of the things we're talking about is building like a basement garage and then the house on top of that, which will get the elevation up a lot higher and really make for some good views of the mountains. Okay, fans, this is one whooped old lone moose. I've been out here cutting weeds with the steel weed eater with the metal cutting blade on it for several hours and I'm pretty well whooped but what I wanted to show you is how much progress we made today starting from here with the private property and we kind of think the property line runs just like you're looking at it here and the way that I've got it uh, the weeds chopped back to the back of the uh, container come back this way now I did get the driveway opened up and on this side I got more of the alder and brush out of here and I actually went about five feet uh, farther out opening it up kind of to where same level as where that stump is out there yeah, if you can see that stump you'll see it more here in a minute but this is pretty heavy work for an old fart but we're not exactly sure if those uh, spruce right there are on the property or just off of it, but that'll be up to the surveyor to determine. And there's some alder on here. If the trunks are big enough, I'm going to have to uh, take the chainsaw to it. That won't be today. My backs get out. And then getting some of this opened up, found a uh, stack of lumber there. It looks like most of it's rotted, but right now I can't get into it to see. And then all this big alder, that's gotta be chainsawed down. Come back over to this side. Oh. And I was going to try and finish everything on this side today, but the machine ran out of gas 
And I said, that's a sign. <laughs> Even though Bill Ingeval isn't here, that's my sign. Time to quit for today. But see how I took this off more on this side. And then back down here. In fact, I went back around this alder thicket and worked my way back up through it. Found what was an old outhouse. It's pretty well rotted out. But let me get this grass out of the way. I also found these guys. Don't know if they're edible. Of course, I'm not a mushroom guy to start with. I sent pictures of this to my buddy Jim, who hates mushrooms as much as I do. So to him, these are I don't know and I don't care. And then sent them to Sean also, since he's lived here for a while and he likes to go get wild mushrooms sometimes. But still got more work to do. Be back out tomorrow and see how things go. Uh, I'm going to actually wrap this up and publish part one from the first day into day as a video. And I'll start a new group tomorrow. Uh, it's really amazing the views out here. Let's see. That seems. Okay. There's Mount Reed out again. I love that view. And in fact, when there's some timber over here, let me whoop, see if I don't fall flat on my face first on some of these alder stuff. Ugh. To get up even higher. Of course, right now it's smack behind that tree. And then this way, a little ways. To pass the tree. There we go. That's as much as my camera will zoom in. But that's one hell of a view. Well, Moose fans, on the way back to the hotel, I see my spirit animal. This is about a mile away from the property. A young bull. He's probably three years old, guessing by the size of his uh, antler rack. When we passed it the first time, there was two moose out there. Now there's just one. But, uh, you know, I think moose season end, ended yesterday. So now they're back out again. So, uh, for my old friend Janice, my old boss at VA and co-worker at QTC and now retiree. She's always been wanting me to provide pictures of the moose. Well, there's the moose. I'm going to take some with my phone camera too and see if I can get more zoom. Nice moose. Said he's probably three year old. But nice good rack on him. I'm gonna this is on my phone, I can get a little better zoomies. Even though my hands are shaking a little more. Alright, he's coming this way, so we're gonna pack up and head out. Evening moose tube fans, low moose. A tired old moose. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, videos the first couple days working out on the property. Uh, on the way back this evening, about a mile from the property, we uh, ran across a moose out there in the field. So, of course, we, being my spirit animal and all, well, we had to uh, stop, shoot a little bit of video and include that for you. Uh, if you guys like enjoy the videos, please hit the like and subscribe for me. If you hit the notify bell, you'll be notified when I post new videos. Uh, you know, I always say this is a partnership. I share things with you. You need to share feedback with me. Okay, that's how I know whether you like what I'm doing, not like it. Uh, you have anything else you'd like to see me do? You know, we'll still be up here for uh, several more days, and there'll be more work done out at the property. So there'll be a follow-on video to this, but. Uh, just want to thank everyone for watching. Remind everyone, please be safe out there. This is Lone Moose out. I'll see y'all on the next video.